I am Anil Kumar and here is a very important question from test point of view connecting limits with equation of tangent lines. Question here is find the equation of tangent line to the graph of the function f of x equals to 1 over x and parallel to the line x plus 2 y minus 6 equals to 0. Now this question is very different from most of the examples you have done so far since we have not really given you any point on the function. right? So you need to find a point on the graph of the function where the tangent will have same slope, exactly same slope as that of the given line. Then it will be parallel. So that is the concept, right? So let's begin by finding slope of the line itself. Uh, I have very limited space to work with, just half of this page. So I like to conserve and uh, apply some shortcuts while providing you with the solution. Take it as a hint. Now. The question here is to find equation of tangent line to the graph of the function f of x equals to 1 over x and parallel to the line x plus 2y minus 6 equals to 0. So let's begin by finding slope of the given line. So we'll just rearrange this. So if you rearrange, so first step is take all these terms to the right side. So we can get 2y equals to minus x plus 6 and then multi divide by 2 or multiply by half so we get y equals to minus half x and when you divide this by 2 you get plus 3 so that is the equation of the line so clearly from here slope of the tangent line so let me write slope m is equals to minus half right? when we say parallel same slope correct so so parallel line slope will be equals to minus half so that is what we know and we are given a function here so now we will find a general point on this on this so let us say the general point is a okay now if the general point is a then what is the slope at a point a that is what we'll find so we'll say slope m at x equals to a is what so it'll be f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h where the limit h approaches 0. It's kind of very important to write limit h approaches 0. In some of my examples I forgot to write that. That will cost you 0.5 marks. Okay, So remember that. I could make some mistakes, get rid of because I don't really want to get marks. I want you to get full marks. Okay, So that really means replace x with a plus h. So our function will be 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x divided by h. So, so that is the function for us. Correct? Now we can simplify this, right? So let's simplify this. We get limit h approaches 0 and you need to cross multiply so when you cross multiply you get x minus within brackets x minus h divided by so I'm writing both these factors in the denominator along with h I hope you understand and appreciate that part x times x plus h you get the idea right so so this term you have to take a common denominator so this gets cross multiplied x minus within brackets x minus h and that you could draw, write down along with h correct so you get this okay now if i open the numerator x minus x is 0 and what you really get oh I'm sorry this is plus h okay and minus and plus h is minus 1 you so, so you get limit h approaches 0 and the numerator you get minus h over h times, let me put square brackets, x times x plus h. Great. That is what you get. At this stage, you can cancel out h, right? Once you do that, you can actually substitute x equals to h equals to 0 and write down the slope, right? So once you do that, then you get minus 1 over x times x, correct? So you get minus 1 over x square. That is what you get. Correct. So now, once you get this, you need to find a point where the slope is minus half, right? So that is what you need. So what we say is, 
we are interested in x equals to a where the slope is of the tangent line parallel to the line. That means where the slope at x equals to a is minus half. So minus half. So this value of minus 1 over x square should be equals to minus half. So that is the concept, right? So from here we can find what x is. So clearly from x we can find out a square root of 2, right? So we can say x is equals to plus minus square root of 2. So that is the value of x which you get, right? So what we get from here, since the slope, so at a equals to plus minus square root of 2, slope of the tangent line on the graph of this function m is equal to minus half. That is what we have got, right? Now in the second part, what we will do is we will find out equation of tangent line. Right? So now let us write equation of tangent line. Okay, so let's continue. So let the equation be y equals to mx plus p, right? So we say let the equation be y equals to mx plus p. Now if the x value is square root of 2 plus minus, then the y value will be 1 over square root 2, correct? So what you get here is, so slope is minus half. So what you can do is, you can first write y equals to slope is minus half of x plus b. So we have to now find out the value of b. Now x could have two values, plus or minus half. So what we will do is, so we have uh, two points on this graph where you could have, you know, the same slope, right? So, so we have two different points. So we'll work out separately for both the points. So one, we will see a equals to minus square root of two. In that case, so the value is minus square root 2, 1 over square root 2 minus, right? And here we will select the point where where x equals to plus square root 2, okay? So we'll substitute this point here and calculate the value of p. So y is minus, uh, I mean, when I root plus square root is plus 1 over square root 2. And here we have minus half and x value is square root 2, right, plus p. Is it okay? So that is the value. So you can solve for b, bringing these terms to the left side. So this could be simplified as minus 1 over square root 2, right? So let me write this side first, uh, kind of uh, minus 1 over square root 2 plus b, right? So when I take it to the left side, it becomes plus. So I get 2 over square root 2 is the value of b, right? 2 over square root 2, as you know, is square root 2. So the value of b is square root 2. And therefore, I can write down the equation of uh, tangent line as y equals to minus half x plus square root 2. So that is one of the tangent lines. We'll do the same calculations on the right side. So for the second tangent equation, so we get y values minus half, so write minus 1 over square root 2, I'm sorry, equals to minus half is the value of m. x value here is minus square root 2 plus p, right? So this, well, minus minus becomes plus. Square root 2, when you divide in here, you get 1 over square root 2 plus b, right? So that is how you get. When you bring it on this side, you get minus 2 over square root 2 as the value of b, right? So which is same as uh, minus square root 2. Is it okay? Minus square root 2. And therefore, the second equation of the tangent line is y equals to minus half x minus square root 2, right? So there are two tangents which are on the graph of 1 over x. And both these tangents, which we found at points x equals to plus minus square root 2, two different points, will have the same slope as the line given to us, x plus 2y minus 6 equals to 0, right? I hope that helps you to understand how to write the equation. Now, here is a question for you. So the question for you is, you do the same thing, but change your function, right? So I'm changing your function. Now f x equals to 1 over square root x is your function. So I've changed your function from 1 over x to 
function is 1 over square root x. Now, if that is the function for you, find the equation of line which is parallel to the graph of this function, I mean 1 over square root 2, and parallel to this given line, right? So, do that part on your own as your practice test for, uh, for your own test, okay? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best. I'll also provide you with a link which will take you to that solution. Thank you.